Hi, I'm Dustin, back with another Rapid Rig Modular version 3 tutorial here. And so in the previous tutorials of our Generate Rig, we learned how to generate it and rebuild it. Now we're going to look at the control settings. So uh, one thing I'm going to do is just nuke the animation that I put on here for now, because that's going to impact some of the things we're going to look at here. So in our control settings, the first thing we're going to look at is the uh, rest pose. So typically models are built in this, you know, a pose position where the arms are angled down. Sometimes the feet might be angled outward as well. And it's fine for the model, but for the rig, it's not ideal, right? If the feet were positioned like this, when the animators start animating, the feet are going to get further apart and they're going to have to keep pushing them in. So what the rest pose allows us to do is move the rig into an animator friendly position. So um, this has been updated significantly since the last version where before you had to specify like which direction of the world is a bit more complicated, but now all you have to do is sort of rotate it generally into the space that you want it to be. So if I wanted my arms to point straight up, I could kind of get them there. That's close enough. And then I can say apply, <clears throat> apply nearest world rotation to those. And now that will exactly snap these to the world. And I can go ahead and do the elbows. So always start from the inside and work your way out because if you oriented the wrists first, so I'll do that just to, as an example, I'll orient those to the world. So they're now straight, but now if I do the elbows next, now the wrists are no longer straight. So start from you know the, the center and work your way out. I'll go ahead and apply that. And there we go. And I could do the same thing for the feet or anything else that's not the way I want. Now, when I'm happy with this, you'll see that you have all these rotation values, so I could still zero it back out. It'll go back to the way it was. You can also you know, manually rotate it into place if you needed to, like let's say you wanted this to be lower for some reason. Um, you can make all those changes yourself. And when you're ready, all you have to do is select any control and say record rest pose, and it'll do it for all the controls. Or if there's only a few that you've done, so let's say I just want to record the rest pose for just these and I want to leave everything else the same, I could just select those, turn that off and say record rest pose. And you'll see that these go back to zero. So undo just so you can see, these all zero out. And so now for an animator, they just have to, you know, if they go in and rotate these, they could just put these values back at zero and it'll go back to that new position. But let's say you're trying to do skinning or you need to go back to the um, the bind pose because you want to you know, add influences or change whatever. So all you have to do is select the rig and you can say set rig to bind pose. And that'll put it back to where it was in the bind pose. And then I can set it back to the rest pose. And there we go. Looks like I may have changed something in. Okay, no, I think it's okay. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, so that's how to kind of switch back and forth between the two and record it. Now you can also save out a rest pose file. So if I were to select my control, I could go save rest pose. I could throw this in my data. And this is our rest pose data file. So I could call this, you know, um, cowboy rest pose. And I could save that. And then if I build another rig that's similar or I want to um, rebuild the rig without or I delete the rig and start over, you can load in an existing rest pose that you've saved from another file. So yeah, that's essentially the rest pose settings.